I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome to the Valder BB Show. It's a brand new day and I've got some brand new information from Chris Welch for you. He's live from Maine. They call him the Lobster Man. Chris Welch, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. Hi, how are you today? Thanks for having me. Well, everybody loves lobster. Uh, I, hopefully everybody has the opportunity to uh, uh, partake in lobster at least once in their lives. But you do this every day, they say. That's right. I've been doing it since I was about six years old and I uh, continue to do it today. So something that I love and uh, really enjoy. Well, tell me about the sustainability, because, you know, when we watch uh, The Planet with David Attenborough, he tells us the good part, but he tells us about those things that are no longer uh, on the planet or being uh, not sustained. So tell us about the sustainability of lobsters. So this state of Maine um, and the lobster industry itself has a kind of a cool story. Um, for over 150 years, we've maintained a sustainable practices um, that has, has really benefited the industry. Uh, what we do is we hand select our products and uh, every day we put back more than we keep. So it, it looks good for the future. That I like to put back more than we keep. I like that. How does, uh, um, you know, a lobster is very, very pricey when you go, to, especially to a high-end restaurant. How do you guys ensure the quality in your industry? So we're an industry that's governed by Mother Nature. Um, every day we can't go to the work. If the, if the ocean tells us we're staying home, we stay home. Um, so every product is hand-selected, one trap at a time, by small boat fishery. Um, doing that, it protects the fishery. We bring home a nice product and it gives us a chance to, you know, really keep an eye on what we keep and give a great product to our consumer. Give me and my audience a little bit of an understanding about the North Atlantic rights whale. Yeah, so uh, the North Atlantic right whale is a species of whale that uh, is fairly limited. There's not a ton of them around. Um, we're attempting to coexist with these animals. Uh, in no way does a Maine lobsterman ever have any interest in harming one. So we've done some things in the past to uh, make sure that we can coexist, like eliminating floating line. Um, and that's, that's worked so far. So we're gonna continue those practice and, uh, and hopefully look forward to the future. You're looking out for other um, uh, sea life there. What about the sea life environment? How do you protect that? Uh, so the sea life environment, you mean as far as uh, protecting the uh, such a Yeah, well, yeah. And I see uh, sometimes fisher boats, not necessarily lobster, but fisher boats uh, dredging deep and uh, dragging the ocean floor and disturbing coral and seagrass. So when you're doing lobsters, what do you do to protect that? Because that environment, it seems to be an environment all its own. Yeah, so this is one thing that's really cool about our industry. Each trap is, you know, we haul one trap at a time. We set it back on the bottom. We're not disturbing the bottom other than putting a trap that sits there. Uh, we have a bait that we put in the trap. So we use another fish, maybe a herring or a or a pogey or a redfish. The lobsters crawl into the trap, we haul them to the surface, we hand select the ones that we want, uh, the ones that are legal size. Anything that's small or too big, we return to the ocean. And as well, we protect uh, breeding stock by releasing the egg-bearing females. So compared to some other fisheries, we're very gentle on the environment. I want my audience to know that Chris Welch is a multi-generation Maine lobsterman. So you're getting firsthand information. And finally, uh, Chris, what do you anticipate from this year's lobster harvest? So we've done a really good job in the past of sustaining our industry. Um, we've had some record catches in the last, you know, 10 to 15 years. Uh, we have yet to hit peak season this year, but it's coming in the near future. 
uh, I can see that we're probably going to have a pretty healthy season. So we look forward to putting a good product on the table for our consumers. Well, we always want to hear that about our economy. Where can my audience go and find out more about what you do in Maine Lobster Fishing? So if you want to find some more information, uh, you can go to lobsterfrommaine.com. It uh, gives a lot of information on maybe where to get lobsters or have some shipped to you directly. It also gives a little bit of bios on some different fishermen that are here in the state. Okay, Chris Wells, thank you for stopping by the Valder BB Show to discover Maine lobster fishing. It was really interesting. Well, thank you. You have a great day. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.